Well, we were trying to figure out why there's so many redacted frames, missing frames, missing videos, missing satellite images for days in a row. Uh, we've had a lot of comets and debris hitting the sun. We've had a few solar flares, but we also had a transit of Mercury. That's that bright object to the upper right. We tried to string together a thousand images to put it in motion in a streaming frames of of uh, pictures to create a motion but we we couldn't do it there was something about the frames that were altered we could not get a nice flow to the background stars uh, so even the stuff that does show up is kind of suspect on the ninth you can see mercury passed directly between earth and the sun but we never saw it that's Jupiter exiting the frame now, and where the arrow is at the top of the screen, there is Mercury. You can barely see it. This is the dimmest I've ever seen it. Is it because it's so far high above the sun? Is it because there's so many particulates between the satellite and what your objects you're looking at? Well, there's a hell of a lot of haze in the solar system. A lot of haze and a lot of dimming. Of these objects but so as Jupiter uh, moves off to the right as the satellite camera rotates to the left to keep the Sun centered here it comes right up there is mercury now I've never seen mercury this high and I've seen it pretty low before we even put out a hundred dollar reward for anybody that could find any frames of mercury transiting so deep and so low and beneath the field of view of stereo C, excuse me, of Lasco C3 and C2. But now it's, it's way above. Well, when you get up in the morning and you look, and uh, the day after, when Saturn came up on the horizon, something came up with it. It was called Mercury. Uh, but So when you're on the eastern horizon and something is due left of an object, that is north. That is north in the solar system. And so you're looking at probably a good 10 to 14 degrees north of Jupiter, which almost sits right on the ecliptic. Jupiter's inclination, 1.3. It's, it's right now, uh, should be sitting right on the ecliptic as it uh, approaches the nodal point. And, and therefore we should be able to see mercury not so high um and of course because it's passing in front of the sun and the other planets are passing behind the sun you know a, a, a slight variation can be magnified just because of the orientation of earth to mercury but that's a pretty high transit so what do you do you go out on your porch right before sunrise and you find Mercury, and you find Jupiter, and you try to determine how far north of the ecliptic it's riding. It cannot be more than 9 degrees. Excuse me, 7 degrees above or below the ecliptic. But So you'll have to judge for yourself when you see it. But to me, I don't ever recall Mercury transiting so high over the top of the sun ever and it was so high you could not even see it in the field of view of Lasco C2 Soho SDO you couldn't you just couldn't see it you had to pull further away to see it that's why it showed up on Lasco C3 but as a very dim object so so you know, we tried to say the solar system's off, way off, and they're updating the ephemeris, and they're, they're telling you what the inclinations of the planets are according to this ephemeris and not according to that ephemeris. But, you know, once upon a time, all you needed was a single ephemeris for decades and decades and decades. Why? Because everything was so exquisitely in motion and had reached an equilibrium and a harmonic equilibrium so we think they were hiding 
that that uh, transit. And again, more evidence the solar system has changed in just the last few years. So we take a quick look at Mauna Loa calendar to see what images. They, they just tell you which images aren't available. And then you see on January 18th, 19th, the 19th, 20th, 21st, images were not even provided. And they do that a lot of times. And then you go over to the next month, February, and the day of the Mercury transit, that's not available. So that's kind of coincidental. But then we go to Soho, Lasco, C2, and you see uh, on their library that from the 9th all the way to the 13th, zero images. And if you go back to the January 15th through the 19th, you'll see redacted entire days. And the days they do give you images, a couple of those days, you might see just a single frame instead of a streaming image. Helio viewers down. So th there's a lot of things that make me wonder. Uh, Stereo A, H1, H I1, uh, their sets of images aren't very well connected together all of a sudden. So you tell me what's going on.